Okay. Is the Blu-ray player in, da in danger of being taken off the shelves? No, I don't believe it is anytime soon, but it definitely is, I'd say, in the next year or two. And people aren't going to believe me, but believe it or not, um, we, ha we had that small scare with, well, what was it, um... Was it Samsung that took their Blu-ray players off the shelf? <sniffs> Not bad. You know, it's always auto pommel lemony with me. Um, I'm going to say that I really think they're going to start coming off the shelf. People have to start collecting these players at a huge rate. Um, you don't have to buy them brand new. Go to these collector stores or these, you know, thrift shops. You know, you can buy, try some out. Like, Goodwill has a policy. It's not great, but it's like 24 hours you can take back the electronics for a credit in the store. Um, do something like that. You can try them out. Um, if you have old controllers you're about to throw away, don't throw them away because you could use them for a variety of things. I gotta tell you how much it's helped me to keep all the old Samsung controllers I have. Because I have a, um, at least one Blu-ray player from, what's it called, Goodwill. And I wouldn't be able to control it if it wasn't for the fact that I kept the controller for it. So I could use it afterwards. Um, I don't think people understand that, though. It, it's See, the problem with, with, um, with collecting is people, no matter what, what it is, they're... That's a little early for them to be turning their car on. Yeah, it's a few minutes early. The problem is with collecting is is that everything's an expense. You know, people think you can just go collecting for cheap. You can, don't get me wrong. But for anyone that's going to collect even VCR tapes, you have to make the consideration that if you buy as many tapes as I have, you better have a lot of VCRs to back it up if it breaks. There's too many people out there right now who have maybe one VCR and they have like hundreds of tapes. What are they doing? The VCR doesn't work anymore. Like, there's got to be something they can do about it. And right now, there's not a lot of... Oh, jeez. I keep slamming to this damn thing. There's not a lot of competition right now either for Blu-ray plays. And that's not a good thing. That means there's no innovation... Nobody's going to make any kind of new Blu-ray plays. Well, they wouldn't do that anyways because it's not as popular as it once was. But um, it would be nice to see someone build a Blu-ray player that, that you could say is the final Blu-ray player and build them something nice. Like, I mean, they must have did that with Laserdisc. They must have found um, a player that they're going to say, oh, here's the last one we ever make. They probably had an idea of doing that. Why can't they do that with Blu-ray and tell us that? Um, I'm afraid what people are going to do is, is they're going to be dumb and they're going to go on eBay and they're going to spend money trying to get stuff off of it and getting screwed over. Um, eBay does have money back guarantee, but for people who don't have a lot of money, say you spend $100 on a Blu-ray player, you have to wait a while to get your money back. It's not with the snap of your finger. I mean, when I bought a Harry Potter thing, I had to wait over four weeks and we, um, then I... Yeah, I had to wait. Well, no, I waited like three three or four weeks. It never came to my house. Then I had to wait another three or four weeks just to get money back guaranteed to give me the money back. So don't buy these things on eBay unless you have to. Like, that's the only reason why I bought my thumb other Laserdisc player. Um, so um, what's my time frame is about a year, a year to two years before they stop selling them. Now, maybe they'll continue to sell them on the um, computer for many more years to come, like they did with the VCR. They started to, once the internet started to boom, they would sell VCRs to, what, 2013, I think, or somewhere around there. But um, with this, I, I don't know. I don't see how this could last that long. I mean, I guess you'll, you'll see them on websites and stuff, but you're going to see a lot of used stuff. And I hate to say it, it's not good to buy used. You don't know what's inside of these products or what's going to happen to them. I can tell you from personal experience, I don't like buying used stuff at all. Um, but when you got the Goodwill, you can get a cheap price, so it doesn't matter. But when you're buying it from Amazon, forget it. Even when I bought the V, when I got the VCR from, was it eBay? I think it was eBay. 
that was a screw up. It came in the mail, and the parts were all like moving around inside. It was all now. I guess if some people are you know very good with parts, they may not just they may not send it back. They'll just fix the parts and and work it out. But for me, I don't know anything about the inside of these units. So if it comes to repairing something, forget it. And even if you buy the newest Blu-ray player, they can't fix them for you, I bet. I bet they tell you to throw it away. That's what's so bad. Look at Best Buy and its return policies. They're so bad. And they're bad because they know the units break. They don't want, they don't want to give you a 30-day policy for most stuff. Because if they do that, or maybe if you're one of the members, you can do that. If you're a regular buyer from Best Buy, if you buy something from them, it's usually 14, 15 day return policy. If they give you a 30 day one, you're going to keep bringing all your plays back because they break. These companies aren't stupid. They want to make money from you. They know exactly how. I'm going to tell you this. I've had a lot of experience, so I know. And you can take my word for it. I mean, look at all the plays I've had. Look at all the plays I bought from Goodwill. I think maybe... Ooh, maybe two of them in the last six months and didn't work right and I had to throw away. And you're saying, well, that's money to just throw it into the shithole. Well, I make a consideration. If you spend a goodwill, believe it or not, they can mock up DVD changes and stuff to say $25, $30. I don't buy DVD changes anymore because I already have two of them. But um, if you're buying a DVD player or a Blu-ray player, say, for 12, 12 bucks. Usually buying from twelve to fifteen bucks at Goodwill. I won't spend any more than that. If something goes wrong with it, it's not worth taking back all the way to Goodwill and spending the gas money or whatever. So you might as well just throw it in the trash. Um, that's like the one of the VCRs I had that I bought from Goodwill for like ten bucks. I just threw it away because it wasn't worth it. Um, you could. That's a risk. That's another thing. A lot of people can't make risks. If you're going to want to keep buying Blu-ray players, um, that's a risk. And not a lot of people are just going to want to throw away players for nothing. Um, so good good luck with that. Um, I just want everybody to know there's, there's many options out there for you. But the new, the new Blu-ray players are going to be discontinued. I'm actually surprised they continue to make some of these upper models. What I wanted to do with my Best Buy, if I got that credit, I, ex I explained that in the Geek Squad videos. I wanted to buy a bunch of high-end model Blu-ray players. Because even though they may be four or $500, which I would all, I'd be getting a credit, so I wouldn't be paying a dime. Who knows how much they're going to be sold for a year or two from now if they discontinue everything. Imagine how much money some of these plays will be. The good thing about Blu-ray plays, though, is that HDMI... So at least it, five years from now when they develop a new TV, it's probably going to have an HDMI cable and you can just connect it and it's always going to work. But with all this analog stuff, you have to buy converters and all that for everything to work on your TV, which isn't that fun. Remember, converter. People mistake devices as things that, um, shall I say, now not just convert the image, but they... um. So it can be shown on a television, but something that can um, transform the image into a better quality and stuff like that. Those those things cost a lot more money. It doesn't. So, just to tell you that. Um, so yeah, save your remote control. I'll say it again. Save the damn remote control. Don't get rid of it. Don't throw it in the garbage. Leave it where it is. Don't throw it away. No matter who you are, even if you're not a collector. Don't ever throw away the controllers to your stuff. Because in the future, you don't know if you might need a new uh, a controller for something. And yes, not all the buttons may work from which controller you're using. But most of the main buttons work. Like I have a Blu-ray player that's an LG. It's a 4K LG Blu-ray player. It's not the one with the Dolby Vision I talked about. And... I can use a DVD controller from LG and it'll work with it. Now, not all the buttons work the same way, but at least it works. I can go to the menu, I can press play. How many people can say they actually have a controller like that? That they, You can go out and buy controllers, but that's a lot of money. Those controller websites are ridiculous. Sometimes 30... I had to go to one 
because I had no choice for my amplifier, I had to spend $35, $40 for a controller just to, because I, I, use, the, I use it to control the volume and change the um, different modes. And that's because nobody else sells it. That's, that's crazy. All right. Well, um, just remember, save the controller. Blu-ray players will be gone in a boat. Um, I say another year and a half, two years. Because if it's Blu-rays aren't stores anymore, um, why keep building, keep sending out plays with, um, and offering them so people can buy them? I mean, it doesn't really make any sense. And, and let's say it doesn't, here's my scenario if it doesn't go away completely. There might be two Blu-ray plays you have to choose from. And someone just announced a player that was like $3,000. Who in the hell is going to waste their money, even if they have the money on something like that, when the whole format could go dead? I hope it doesn't, but there's a possibility. That's why I get up with a bunch of players and stuff. So if something happens, I'm not screwed over. All right. Bye-bye.